All right, welcome back. Now we're gonna go over customizing like the, the visual style of our menu because, you know, gotta be stylish. So if we go to our menu and, you know, let's, let's search through the tree instead of speeding through it. So generic radio menus, we go to materials and we've got a few materials already set up. This is the base material in here, so this is um, this is the one that that actually controls the whole visual effect of it. And so there's also a material function that's easy to create a new material. But let's let's look into just kind of making our own instance material. We're gonna call this one mi underscore selection wheel yeah um so let's 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 decide how this is gonna look but let's put it on the actual radio menu so if we hit browse get it highlighted in the editor go back to our demo widget select our selection wheel go down to material base assign that to mi selection wheel save that and leave them leave those alone for now I think a lot of these are just uh, let's see hold on okay so get myself aligned here so we want to adjust the colors so the inner ring color um, There we go. It's taking a second to update. I was a little concerned. All right, so this is our outer ring color, as you can see here. You can set it to whatever color. Now we're doing a nice little purpley color, purpley pink. That was pretty fun. Let's go there again. The ring main color, as you can see, is right here. Although I don't like it being, it needs to be either white or almost completely black those are two colors that just kind of work nice for the menus now you gotta remember this is the selection and where it's uh, two it looks kind of hard to visualize so what do we have three items this is what it'll look like okay so our unhighlight color set that one to be 0.0 now that's too much 0.01 that's a pretty good color and our main color just it's this will be the main section of the highlighted area and you could create your own material to really customize how this looks for you know your own use but as just a kind of catch-all see that's it's a little too dark there we need to probably make that we'll just leave it white and then we'll change the opacity of it all the main color affects the opacity of the main in both sections. Okay, there's a scalar parameter for the opacity of just the highlight and unhighlight, which I am going to set to 0.4. And I don't like things to be fully opaque in widgets like this, so make it a 0.7. These are some kind of awful color combos here. Let's uh, see if we can make it worse, right? Yeah. All right, so our radial texture, and we'll look at that real quick. The outer ring is green, main ring is blue, and the center ring is red. And that's important if you want to make your own custom texture. Just follow those colors, and it'll sync up nicely. I figured that would be a good way to keep it kind of customizable. I'm, I'm a big fan of this one right here. I like the way that this one looks. And uh, kind of has a sci-fi look. As you can see, the those little dots really kind of pop. Another one is uh, the rough one. Those, that one's pretty cool. Post-apocalyptic bubblegum colors here. I don't know what that is, but that sounds sounds pretty cool. This one works really with um, unrotated, I believe. 
it was just an example and you have to have it set to exactly eight it's cool but it's not necessarily practical like I, I wanted it to be so even for this kind of menu if you had on like a never allow resizing first of all and then you could have eight pieces and we'll just look at that real quick because this is a, another thing in customizing that whoops I am hitting wrong buttons so this is another thing in customizing that may be important you can have this it's got the nice division right there it's got a, the spacing which is kind of seems to be only possible with a custom texture to have the spacing be perfect like that the downside is you know only eight ever but hey that's that would work fun if that's what you wanted to do but that's not what I'm wanting to do so let's go back to the which one was it was this one yeah the sci-fi dots so we've got our little customized menu here you see we, oh still at eight let's drop it down to two and we'll, see this is this is you can mess yourself up by tw tweaking settings so I uh, set it to two and I left allow resizing to be off which is important when you're just dynamically adding an any number of items so just keep that in mind let me see we have it and we're not rotating to up still that's an, another thing to note another thing to note we changed the texture which is just a texture so we didn't tell the icons to be a further out and B smaller so to get everything looking right and right here's if you look at this little square right here this is our our position debug and the item offset radius is where it's going to be so let's see 200 195 I think it's 190 let's try 193 that looks pretty good that's fairly centered up and we may need to change the size of those icons they're almost too big but it works and so as long as you're using the basic radial item icon here you can uh, oh actually no yeah it's right here you can change the size and I don't want to be half let's say 46 that might be good change the icon size here and this is um this is a lot of times all that you need for your radio menus is this class right here the basic radio icon let me see the full name yeah you can have a custom widget there but you don't often need it unless you have maybe some kind of data binding you want to set up for displaying item stuff but still for the most part not really those are too small see in full screen yeah I'm not happy with the size of those we'll just go back with 64 but that um I think that covers getting it set up oh here's your here's your sound effect for your selection explosion cue that's nice auto rotate for up is your friend with controllers so we want to keep that checked too because see how it just seems to be nicer and yeah you can you can do whatever you want make your menu make your menu pink and orange because those are colors you can use thank you for watching um, if you have any questions please uh, feel free to ask those thank you for, and uh, thanks for taking the time to stick with me this long that's all